Deep fakes are terrifying and not just happening to celebrities, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. AI was found social engineering, manipulating healthcare data, and even making scams so good anyone could fall for it. Welcome back, seekers of knowledge. I'm Theodore, and today on ASD, Gwen and Charlie explore how the same AI tools being used to protect us online are making us more vulnerable. Imagine a hacking bot that learns and adapts and doesn't stop hacking. This is real life. Let's break down some of the complex forces shaping our world today. All right, so today we're really diving into this uh, fascinating world of AI and cybersecurity. We've got some reports and expert opinions lined up that really show just how much AI is changing the game. Yeah, it's it's really remarkable. And it's interesting, right, because it's the same technology that we're using for protection, mm -hmm. but it can be such a powerful tool for bad actors, too. Absolutely. It's a real double-edged sword. So let's start with some of the positives. The University of Tennessee's Office of Innovative Technologies, UT, they actually call AI a cybersecurity superhero. Mm. And they talk about how AI can analyze these huge amounts of data to find threats and even respond automatically. That's pretty impressive. It's true. It's almost like having the, like a superpower detective yeah. you know, that never sleeps. It's constantly working. It's always on. And you know, Terranova Security points out that AI is really good at spotting those anomalies, those things that might slip past us, like even in something like employee access logs. Oh, absolutely. Like if you think about um, an employee downloading a bunch of data late at night, yeah, that's that's a huge red flag. Right. And AI can pick up on those patterns. Right. Those things that we might just miss in a sea of data. Right. But of course, with all this potential, there's also a downside. UT also warns that cyber criminals are, you know, catching on. They're figuring out how to use AI for their own purposes. And that's what's so alarming, right? Terranova Security really dives into the potential for things like deep fakes, which they're getting incredibly convincing. Yeah, it's scary how realistic they can be. Yeah. And it's not just about, you know, breaking through firewalls anymore. It's about like manipulating people. Social engineering, basically. Exactly. And we're not just talking hypotheticals here either. There's this case from Blank Rome LLP about a company, Pieces Technologies. They got into some trouble over misleading claims about their AI's accuracy. Oh, wow. And it really shows the importance of transparency, especially when you're dealing with things like, you know, healthcare data. Oh, absolutely. It's one thing if it's, you know, what kind of ad to show you, but when it's someone's health, that's a whole other level. Exactly. The stakes are so much higher. So, you know, with all that in mind, it's clear that AI is changing the cybersecurity landscape. So the question is, how do we adapt? How do we stay ahead of the curve? Well, UT really stresses this idea of being proactive. It's not enough to just react after an attack happens. We have to anticipate, right? Yeah. And that means constantly learning and evolving our defenses. Right, like a constant arms race. Exactly. And it's also crucial to foster this culture of collaboration. Okay, and I see Homeland Security echoes that, talking about the need for joint research and development, kind of presenting a united front, right? Right, because the bad actors, they're not afraid to share information and strategies. We need to be doing the same. Absolutely. And we can't forget about individual responsibility either. You know, Cal OES reminds us that it's not all on the big guys. They emphasize things like strong passwords and enabling multi-factor authentication. Which, let's be honest, those, those are things we should all be doing anyway, right? Exactly. It's about taking those basic steps to protect yourself. But even with all of AI's capabilities, we can't lose sight of the human element. James Sigel from Motorola Solutions, he actually argues that human judgment is more important than ever. I see his point. Because AI can analyze all this data, but it can't really understand the nuances of every situation, can it? Right. We can't just hand over the reins completely. We need that human intuition and experience. Right, that gut feeling. And speaking of the human element, Terranova Security really emphasizes how important security awareness training is, especially for employees who are interacting with AI-driven systems. So it's about giving people the knowledge they need to use these tools safely and effectively. Exactly. Knowledge is power, right? Always. 
And with any kind of power, especially in the digital world, we need some ground rules. Blank Rome LLP, they bring up the need for strong legal and regulatory frameworks around AI and cybersecurity. And they point to things like GDPR as a starting point, but they also say we need more specific regulations. It's like with any new technology, there's always that initial period where we're figuring out the rules of the road, right? Exactly. And AI is no exception. Yeah, it's like we're figuring out this new world and we need a good map. You know. Absolutely. And speaking of navigating new territory, one area where AI is really shaking things up is phishing. Both UT and Terra Nova Security talk about how these scams are becoming so much more advanced. Yeah, they're not those clunky emails we used to see. Right, full of typos and weird formatting. Now they can be incredibly targeted, like they might even sound like someone you know. Because they can actually mimic writing styles. It's kind of creepy, actually. Yeah. It makes you wonder, like, what's real anymore? Exactly. And UT takes it even further. They talk about some pretty unsettling possibilities. Remember those autonomous attack bots? Oh, yeah, the ones that can launch attacks on their own. Right. UT suggests they could eventually be used for continuous attacks, like always adapting and evolving. So it's like, even if you manage to block one attack, they just come back with another one? It's a terrifying thought. Welcome back to the deep dive. There's this whole other level, machine learning poisoning. What's that? It's where attackers basically manipulate the data that AI uses to learn. So imagine an AI that's supposed to detect malware, right? Right. But it's been trained on bad data, so it starts thinking that malicious code is actually harmless. Oh, wow. So it's almost like tricking the AI into working against us. Exactly. And that just highlights how crucial it is to secure not just the AI systems themselves, but the entire process of how they learn. So the data, the algorithms, everything. Everything. Okay, but let's shift gears a bit. We've talked a lot about the potential dangers of AI, but it's also making a real difference in a positive way, like with threat detection and response. Right, right. Terra Nova Security talks about how AI can analyze those massive amounts of data in real time, which is, that's something we could never do on our own. Yeah, it's like having a tireless security guard that never looks away. Exactly, and not just detecting threats, but responding to them quickly, too. So things like isolating systems that have been compromised or blocking malicious traffic. Exactly. And that speed is crucial, right? Especially in those first few minutes after an attack. You want to contain it before it can spread. So every second counts. Exactly. And that's where AI really shines, because it can analyze these huge amounts of data so quickly, identify the problem, and take action. And we're talking about terabytes of data, which would just be overwhelming for a human analyst. Yeah, it really is a game changer. But... Even with that, I keep coming back to what James Siegel said about the importance of human judgment. Even with all this amazing AI, we can't forget that human element, right? It's true. It's like AI can point us in the right direction, mm -hmm. but we still need people to make those judgment calls, you know? Absolutely. Like an AI system might flag something as suspicious, but it takes a human to look at the context and decide if it's actually a threat. Because it's not always black and white. Right. There, there might be situations where something looks bad on the surface, but there's a perfectly legitimate explanation. Exactly. We can't just blindly hand over control to the machines. We need that human oversight, that ability to see the bigger picture. And, you know, Terra Nova Security talks about how important security awareness training is, especially now, with AI being used in more and more systems. It's like we're all interacting with these AI powered tools. So we need to understand how they work what the risks are, how to use them safely. Yeah, it's about empowering people, giving them the knowledge they need to navigate this new world. Exactly. And with any new technology, especially something as powerful as AI, we need to make sure we're using it responsibly. Right. And that's where Blank Rome LLP comes in, talking about the need for clear legal frameworks around AI and cybersecurity. They mentioned GDPR as a starting point, but they also say we need more specific regulations, right? Yeah, like GDPR is a good foundation, but AI brings up a whole new set of challenges. It's like we're writing the rule book as we go along. Which is kind of exciting, but also a little daunting. Definitely. It's a lot of responsibility. But I think this conversation highlights just how important it is to be having these discussions, to be thinking about these issues now before it's too late. Absolutely, because AI is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. So it's up to us to figure out how to harness its power for good, for a safer and more secure 
digital future. Well said. And on that note, we'll wrap things up for this deep dive. We hope this has given you a lot to consider. As always, keep exploring, keep asking those tough questions, and let's keep this conversation going. Before we go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with someone who loves learning about the complexities of our rapidly changing world. Can we keep up? Keep tuning in to find out. Stay safe, stay alert, stay curious. I'm Theodore, and I'll be looking forward to our next deep dive.